Hey, what's up, guys? So now that we have console connection through our Cisco switch to our computer, what we need to do is configure our device for Telnet so that way we can connect to our Cisco switch remotely. Now, what you want to do is pull up Putty. Now, we're doing this in Windows 10. Windows 7 will be a little different. If you have Windows 7 currently and you would like Windows 10, I do have a link in the description on how you can upgrade to Windows 10 if you use assistive technologies. So, please feel free to click that link if you have any questions, hit me up. But what we want to do is right click our start menu, go to device manager. Now, in device manager, what we need to do is go down here to ports, common, LPT. And what we're looking for is our USB to serial COM port. Now that we have that, we see it's COM port 3. Let's open PuTTY and go over here to serial. We'll change this to COM 3. Now, if you always have your um, USB to serial cable connected, one of the things that you can do, and I'm just going to show you guys a quick tip since we're going through this, is you can actually save this session. So let's name this COM3 session. And so now, once we save this, all you have to do is open PuTTY and click COM3 session, and it will load the correct settings that you desire for this COM port. Now before we do that, let's change some of these colors and backgrounds for, for PuTTY. And let's change the, I believe it's the default foreground. Yeah, let's change that to this green color. We'll leave the background the same. And then we'll go up here to the font and make sure it's 12 point font. And then click OK. And now what we'll do is go up here to session, make sure we save it. And we'll double click COM session three. And when we open PuTTY, we now have the matrix colors and the 12 point font so that way you can see actually what, you, what we're doing okay so now that we're in this Cisco switch what we're in now is called the user exec mode there's not much you can do to configure your device in the user exec modes you can do a few show commands like you can do a show interface and that will show you the interfaces on the device I believe you can do like a show version and I will show you the version of, the version of your device and the version that we're running on this Cisco switch is going to be the uh, Cisco 2950 version 12.1. That's the version that we're running. Now, let's get this down. Let's make sure that we can help you guys can see this clearly. Now, you cannot do a show run in the user exec mode. So that's one of the things you can't do. You can't see the full configuration. I don't think you can do a show. Can you do a show VLAN? Yeah, you can do a show VLAN. So in the user exec mode, even though your commands are limited, you can still, um, I guess, troubleshoot the device. And it looks like I do have a VLAN configured. But we'll discuss that later. Even though this switch does not have any configs on it, um, you have to separately delete, delete VLANs on the switch. But anyway, let's configure this for Telnet so we can connect to it. So now, let's go into um, privilege exec mode. So what we'll do is hit enable. And so now we're in enable mode. So we're going to do a show run to see what configs are on this switch, if any, and nothing. So the first thing we want to do is config T, which takes us into configuration mode. Let's give this, this switch a host name and we'll call it um, switch one. So SW1 will be the host name. Now what we need to do is go into, let's give it a password, enable secret, uh, let's give it Cisco. So that will be the enable secret for this device is Cisco. The next thing we need to do is give it um, an IP address for management. So let's go into interface VLAN one. And let's assign this VLAN IP address as 192.168.0. Oh, let's keep it simple. 192.168.1.1. And this will be a slash 24. 
If you guys want to know more about subnetting, I have a link here that will help you subnet like a boss. All right, so we have that up. Now, whenever you create the management IP address, or in other words, uh, layer three VLAN IP address on a switch, you have to bring that IP address up. So we'll do what you call a no shut, which means do not shut down. So now this is not shut down and it brings it up. Now we don't have any ports connected to the switch. So I believe this switch is so old, it's gonna say up down. So show IP interface brief. Yes, and so when you do a show IP interface brief for this device, this is the layer three, the VLAN one IP address that we just created for management. And you see the status is up, but it's down. Meaning that, okay, you bring it up, it's not administratively down, and it does have a logical IP address that's up and running, but there's nothing connected to activate that port or that IP address for management. So, and that's cool. That's what we want, though. Now, let's go back into configuration mode, which is config T. Okay, so what we're going to do is line DTY 0 through 15, and then we'll tell it to create this password of network and then we'll tell it to log in and then we'll create the transport input telnet and then that should be good to go for telnet and now we'll exit go back to privilege z mode and we'll tell it to copy running configuration to the starter configuration yes and this saves your configuration and we'll close putty now that we have putty closed what you're going to need is a cat5 cat6 rj45 568b straight through cable i have one here what you want to do is take one port on your switch and plug it into i'm going to use port one and plug one end of your rj45 connection into there and the other end should go into your laptop. Okay, now that we have that connected, what you have to do is go down to your configuration for your NIC, and you're gonna have to assign this to the same subnet as your device, because we don't have a router set up in order to connect. So we'll go down here to, to Network and Sharing Center. Another way that you can get to this is by hitting Windows A, and then we go over to Network, and network settings will come up we just click network settings and this is the long way to get to it and then you can go to change adapter options and this will take you right into your NIC but the way I usually do it is I just go down here to my Ethernet card and I right click and I open network and shade center and now that we're in here we're going to adapter settings and right click and go to properties now what you need to do is go into IP version four, which is internet protocol version four, go to properties, and we need to sign this and IP addresses in the same subnet as your switch. So it'll be 192.168.1, and then we can go dot two. Same subnet mass, and we don't need a default gateway because we don't have a router and we're not doing any router. So we'll click okay, and then we'll click close. And now, what we can do is do a test ping and just see if we can ping that switch. So if you open um, command prompt by hitting Windows R on your keyboard, this will bring up the run box and then just type CMD. And this will bring up your command prompt. And what we can do is just ping 192.168.1.1, which is just switch, and see if we get communication. And this should ping. Okay, you can see. The first time out is, is, is acceptable. That happens whenever you're um, pinging devices for the first time. For some reason, you lose a packet in the beginning. Now, we were able to ping this switch. Now, what we want to do is connect Telnet. So we'll open Putty and we'll select the Telnet option. And actually, what you can do, you can load your COM3 session. Since we already have that saved, we can load it and then just click telnet and for 
and with this load this will load all your graphical design and so it'll still look like the matrix or whatever but we'll put in the host address of the switch 192.168.1.1 and what we'll do is rename this session as switch one and then save it and that saves this session so when you're connecting the next time to this switch you just double click switch one and it'll open and so now it's asking for a password and the password you're going to enter is network boom you're in the switch boom and then you'll hit enable to get into the privilege exec mode and then you'll hit cisco for that password so two key things you have to create an enable secret password or a username with the password and then go into your vty line and tell it to log in locally with that local username or you have to create a password for that vty line session now what i'll do now is i'll demonstrate how to just create a username and use that username rather than using the vty line um password so what we'll do since we're in here now we'll just do it this way we'll close that out we'll go back in here through console enter and then we'll go to create a username and this username let's see we'll make it dewan and then privilege we'll give it privilege mode 15 secret and then the password will be Cisco so what this saying is that the username of Dewan has a privilege mode of 15 meaning that I'll show you so the privilege user level is 0 through 15 so the rights that you have when you log into the device um, the higher the more rights that you have so I'll go 15 and then secret and then Cisco will be the password. Now, when we go into the VTY line, VTY 0 through 15, and we'll tell it to log in. Normally, we told it to log in with the VTY line password. Now, we'll tell it to log in locally with the Dewan username and password. So, log in local, exit. Now, a quick shortcut rather than typing exits no matter where you are to take you back to that privilege exec mode you can hit control z and that will take you all the way back to um the privilege exec mode no matter where you are in the cli now we'll do a copy run start that's what i usually do but here we'll just do a write mem which means write memory and this saves your configuration the same the same way but for ic and d1 purposes and I see need two purposes, Cisco purposes. Remember, copy one to start, but you can't use right now. And now we'll exit this device. And then we'll go back to Putty. Since we already had the session saved, we'll click this SW1. And as you can see, it asks for the username. We'll click the one. And then the password was Cisco. Boom. And it takes me right into privilege exec mode. That's what that um, privilege 15 means. That I have enable rights when I log into that device now if you put zero it took me to user exec mode and we can demonstrate that also actually let's just go in here and redo my account so let's go username Dewan privilege zero secret Cisco let's go back control Z and right now and now when we get out of this device and go back in i just wanted to demonstrate you to show you the type of access that i will have between 0 and 15. we'll just click this sw1 double click it duan cisco and as you can see i only have user exec access now so i hope this tutorial has been informative for you if you all have questions hit me up in the comment section below you can also reach me on twitter at dlight 330 this has been really fun the next video will go over setting up SSH. So if you got any questions, hit me up. Um, I plan to do a whole series on connecting the devices and then building up to what we're starting to lab together on hardware and packet tracer. So again, 
I thank you all for viewing. Peace.